Upon finding the downed firefighter, we'll announce it to the crew and confirm they received the message. Quickly assess the downed firefighter for breathing, consciousness, and if he or her is entrapped, injured, or there's any damage to their gear and how much air is in their bottle. Position the down firefighter on their left side and with their head toward your egress will facilitate packaging and removing. Here are some easy to do techniques in order to flip and turn the firefighter using mechanical advantage. Wherever the hips go, the rest of the body will follow. Watch how firefighter Aaron Lopez converts the down firefighter's pack into a harness. Pay attention to how he finds and loosens it up the waist strap, never letting go of the buckle. He positions the firefighter's leg to facilitate an easy transfer between the legs. These simple steps help you prevent from losing the waist straps and efficiently converting the pack into a harness. This might be enough to drag the firefighter out. But if you really want to secure the down firefighter's SCBA pack, an overhand knot around one shoulder strap will help. If conditions allow and for the right situations, this is the preferred method. This next method is an easy and quick way to convert the pack with your webbing. The con here is that the pack is less secured to the down firefighter making it more difficult to drag this person out. Whichever method you decide to use, make sure you cinch down all the straps. Attaching the rib bag to the down firefighter is part of the packaging process. Here are a couple simple methods that you can use. This first method attaches the rib bag and converts the pack. If you don't have confidence on the down firefighter's belt, then don't use this method. If this pack is already converted, simply attach the large carabiner to the strap that goes between the firefighter's legs. The next two methods are best utilized when you have to get rid of the down firefighter's SCBA pack. Watch how the rib bag is easily attached through the webbing that's being girthed around the down firefighter. Whichever method you might use, keeping the rib bag between the firefighter's legs allows the firefighter to be streamlined and it prevents from the bag getting caught up on any obstacles. There are many methods of removing a down firefighter. We're demonstrating a couple easy to do methods for different situations. In order to determine what method to use, your first question should be how difficult was it to get to the down firefighter? How far did I travel? Did I go up, down, and around obstacles? What are the fire conditions? How big is the firefighter? If I have a straight and short distance out of the building with no obstacles, then I could just grab and go using the firefighter's pack strap or the DRD. If I encountered any obstacles or any distance, converting the pack might be my best option. The searching firefighter will take charge of the removal process and will give commands to his crew. In most situations, each firefighter will grab one shoulder strap, face each other, and remove the victim. Here we're showing how they could get low and narrow Giving each other simple commands right, ready, like ready, go, go works best. Ready, go. Ready, go. 